in a rough side of this year's budget, the regional assembly unpleasantly passed the budget of over 103 million US dollar. They say it has little consideration of the activities to be carried by the East African Legislative Assembly. The Speaker's office was marked to be undermined in the budget. The committee therefore recommends that the Assembly urge the Council of Ministers to provide additional funding to the Office of the Speaker in a supplementary budget in the financial year 2023-2023 to enhance the functionality, visibility and effectiveness of the Office of the Speaker. Whereas information on the budget of the Speaker is $7,000. Members, a Speaker of a region who goes to heads of state you give 7,000 as an impressed who meets ambassadors. You want him to go to the airport. He takes a tax to meet a, a head of state. It's very disturbing. Really, that's degrading the institution. The budget that is to depend on 57% contribution of partner states is also anticipated to face a repeated problem of delayed remittance. The members emphasized on alternative remittance from partner states that they say to be always defaulters in their commitments to the bloc. Budget is about money. Budget is a strong commitment. And when a member does not contribute, that member is not committed to regional integration. Right, Mr. Speaker, and since the Chair Council is here, and we have been informed that council is going to be going for a retreat. Please consider, please consider activating provisions of that treaty for suspension of members that are not contributing to the community. But I'm really disappointed to know that the same challenges that this community experienced from 2017 is continuing, and that is related to uh, delays in remittances of uh, partner state uh, contributions and also low uh, absorption of uh, the budget. And we are very clear, we all know what, the, uh, what is contributing to this, but to my disappointment, especially in relation to looking for alternative funding system, up to now, five years later, Nothing much has been done. South Sudan's position in its commitment to the bloc is said to be on a mix-up as its areas hit higher figures. Honorable Warder says a suggestion of a waiver was made although nothing is confirmed in the records. The country has committed, paid 15 million, and there was a waiver which was given on condition that this financial year should be paid. And we are left with some days, so... I really urge the Republic of South Sudan that it's uh, for our own benefit and the benefit of the ESC for us to honor the contribution. With the Democratic Republic of Congo on board, the region is now witnessing constraint on its expenditure. Activities in various institutions of the community are said to have been halted as funds remains inadequate for the annual expenditures.